On 10 July 2017, a KC-130T Bureau Number 16500 belonging to Marine Aerial Refueling Transport Squadron VMGR-452 out of Newburgh, New York, had been tasked with transporting personnel and cargo belonging to Marine Corps Special Operations Command from Cherry Point, North Carolina to El Centro, California for team-level pre-deployment training. The preceding simulated video reconstruction is a recreation of the KC-130T mishap aircraft breakup. The reconstruction is based upon information contained in the Materials Engineering Report submitted by the In-Service Support Center Fleet Readiness Center East, Cherry Point, North Carolina. The aircraft departed Cherry Point on 10 July at 107 Eastern Daylight Time. Approximately 2 hours and 41 minutes after takeoff, the aircraft was in cruise flight at an approximate altitude of 20,000 feet and on a magnetic heading of approximately 270 degrees over LaFleur County, about 7 miles west of Greenwood, Mississippi. At approximately 3.48 p.m. Central Daylight Time, an in-flight event occurred causing the aircraft to break up in flight. Yankee 72, Memphis Center, Roger. The aircraft mishap began when the number four propeller blade broke off the number two engine and penetrated on the left side at FS-377. This blade liberated in flight as a consequence of fatigue cracking that initiated from intergranular cracking at the root end of the bald. The number four propeller impacted the fuselage in a near vertical orientation. The intrusion resulted in an overload failure of the LBL-61 Longeron at both sides of the point of impact at FS-377. Almost simultaneously, the number three engine reduction gearbox experienced an overload failure causing the propeller assembly to depart from the engine nacelle. The number three propeller assembly struck the aircraft and intruded into the fuselage entering 33 inches below the upper RBL-61 Longeron. This resulted in an overload failure of the RBL-61 Longeron. The embedded number three propeller assembly pushed the upper structure aft resulting in an accordion-like buckling failure of the RBL-20 Longeron. As a consequence, a large upper section from the propeller strike from FS-350 to FS-477 liberated from the fuselage along with the side panel below RBL-61 Longeron and aft to the wheel ferry. The forward fuselage section suffering intrusion damage collapsed as a unit and separated from the aircraft. The number three propeller assembly dislodged from the fuselage and gets flung backward, hitting the right horizontal stabilizer at HSS-130, leaving a large hole in the leading edge. Separation of the right horizontal stabilizer from the aircraft occurred coincidental with the impact of the propeller assembly. The debris field is displayed here. The aircraft engine number two, propeller blade number four, which failed due to fatigue cracking, combined with overload failure of the number three engine reduction gearbox, caused a cascade of overload failures of the fuselage structure. The intrusion caused by the number two and number three engine propeller blades weakened the bending strength of the forward fuselage section to the point where the fuselage structure was unable to carry the payload. The fuselage separated into two sections, a section in front of FS-477 and a section aft of FS-477. The aircraft debris came to a rest at 3328 latitude, 9026 longitude. Yankee 72 Memphis Center, Roger. Yankee 72 Memphis Center, how do you hear? Yankee 72 Memphis Center on guard. Yankee 72 Memphis Center on guard. Contact Memphis Center 135.87. I'm sorry, who are you trying to call? Yankee 72 Memphis Center. We take 485 Memphis. Go ahead. Do you see anything out at your uh, 2 o'clock, 1 to 2 o'clock at about 1, 6 miles that, uh, I don't know, smoke or anything out that way? Yeah, we do actually. We got some uh, blackish smoke rising out that, that direction. Boutique uh, 45, can you deviate over that way? Hey, Permit, if we can, uh, do you want us to go down? Boutique 485, are you seeing anything out here at 12 o'clock in about uh, five, six miles? Yeah, it's definitely a smoke cloud, blackish color. Uh, from here, it looks like it's out directly center of a uh, agricultural field. Boutique 485, go ahead. Yeah, there is a uh, aircraft, sir. 
recording um, the Puma smoke at this time down there. Boutique 485, can you make out the type of aircraft? And Boutique 485, we're looking for a C-130. This concludes the simulated video reconstruction of KC-130T Bureau Number 165000 Mishap Aircraft Breakup on 10 July 2017.